I've got some nectarines which I'm gonna put in the cake. We're gonna make um, a vegan caramel sauce that also goes on top of it. And I've got also some dark chocolate which we're gonna melt into it. So yeah, let's let's make something a nice, exciting, comfortable cake with some fruit and, and all the all the nice bits in it. So the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna get my dry ingredients together. So I've got some plain flour and if you've seen any of my previous streams I always use plain flour. So I'm using one and a quarter cup of plain flour. And then I'm gonna use two and a quarter cup of corn flour. So I mix plain flour and corn flour together and I've discovered that um, yeah, probably a couple of months ago it works, corn flour works um, really really nicely because it kind of keeps fluffing things up um, so it makes things quite nice and fluffy so then I want some bicarb of soda which also makes things fluffy and as I said this is going to be a fluffy fluffy cake so we're going to have some wonderful fluffy Nest in there, so a quarter, uh, yeah, a quarter of a teaspoon um, baking soda, and then half a tablespoon of baking powder, which will give us the rise for our fluffiness. So I'm gonna add a little bit more actually, because the baking powder is gonna be the thing that is gonna make it rise. Then I've got some caster sugar, you can use any kind of sugar, brown sugar, caster sugar, uh, coconut sugar, for, yeah, any sugar you like, half a cup of sugar, and again I've reduced that from a whole cup of sugar to half a cup, first of all I don't need this um, super, super sweet because I'm going to make a caramel sauce for the top, and I'm going to have some dark chocolate as well, so we don't need it super sweet, um, and then just a sprinkle of salt, which will bring the whole thing together and I'm going to stir this so that it gets a little bit incorporated so those are all our dry ingredients I'm going to put them on the side because then I'm going to put uh, my wet ingredients into my little um, I don't even know what this is called my little measuring cup measuring cup measuring cup let's call it measuring cup so I'm gonna use about I'm gonna use three quarters of a cup of plant milk. And again, this is very flexible. If you got soy milk, use soy. I've got coconut just because I've got that a jug. Thank you. It's a jug. <laughs> Measuring jug, jug. I've got coconut milk. Then a third cup. of butter, so which I'm going to add in here, and that's going to be our fat content that will make it hopefully nice and, I know a lot of people don't like that word, but some cake it's allowed, moist. All right, and then I also add a tablespoon of vinegar, which is going to give us um, a nice smooth Butter. So I'm just going to try to incorporate this a little bit and then let it sit on the side here. Um, yeah, before I mix those two together, I'm going to cut some of my nectarines because I want to have some nectarines in my face. Oh, and a thing that I'm notoriously known for forgetting preheat your oven to 180 degrees. Celsius, that is. Um, yeah, preheat your oven. Good. So I'm probably going to use two to three of those nectarines and I'm going to start chopping them up. I'm going to put them directly into my flour, into my dry ingredients. Good, so I've got my dry ingredients in here, including my chopped up nectarines. And now, to this, I'm going to add my liquid ingredients. That is 
vinegar, plant milk, and butter. And I'm going to roughly combine this with my spoon. Lovely. So this looks a bit more. And it's going to be a bit um, stickier. Nice. <laughs> we used corn flour and flour. So we mixed some flour and some corn flour here. And that's why this is a little bit more sticky. But it hopefully should make um, our cake batter also a little bit more um, fluffy and puffy and now I'm gonna put a little bit of spice in there so I've got some cinnamon I've got some brown nutmeg and I've got some brown gloves which I'm gonna put in and I'm just gonna go by feel um, it's probably half a teaspoon ish of all of this Oops. and cinnamon probably a little bit more cinnamon because it's cinnamon and it's really, really nice so I'm just adding my cake and my cake tin. So I'm going to add this to my oven now and hopefully I need a small saucepan and I'm gonna use syrup, so I'm gonna use some agave nectar just because I have it at home. I need a spoon, which I just cleaned. It's lovely. So I've got a tablespoon and five tablespoons of syrup. So I hope I can get five tablespoons of this out. One, two, three, four, five. And now you all know that I can count lovely as well then 60 gram coconut cream two teaspoons of milk i'm gonna add uh, tablespoons of milk i'm gonna put the milk in first and then a little bit of salt one two so i've got some coconut milk i've got light coconut milk and i wouldn't go for light coconut milk because i'm not the kind of going light on, on things but that's the only thing i had in the shop today so i'm gonna use just the solid part of the coconut um, and I'm gonna leave the water actually in so I'm just using the cream part of the coconut for this and this we're gonna heat up and bubble for a little bit apparently and then it's supposed to give you vegan caramel so I feel the sauce here needs a little bit of help to get solid I'm gonna turn the heat off, take it off the heat, and I'm gonna put some of my corn flour in um, a bowl. And actually, I'm gonna add just a couple of spoons of my caramel ish sauce to make a paste. And then I'm gonna add this back in here, and hopefully, if I bring it. To the boil again it will be a bit more solid um, because I want to make it I want to put it over my over my cake it's like a, a glaze so I'm gonna add some of the chocolate in and melt the chocolate down on it and that should hopefully help make this a bit more solid once it falls down oh gosh yeah so this is definitely the kind of topping oh, we want on our cake. So this is nice, chocolatey, gooey. I think I just, yeah, let's call it the chocolate caramel ganache. Yes, my cake just came out of the oven for ages, um, but I'm just going to glaze it now and then show you the result of my cake. So, I'm open this up. Thanks to 
quite long. So I presume that this will melt the top of a little bit of the which we put down from before. But it will ignite once it's cooled down. 